Hello guys! This time I would like to talk about processor affinity. This feature allows users to assign a specific process to use some of CPU cores and threads. As we learned from the previous video, hyperthreading is a useful feature which can make many of applications and games work faster and more efficient. But there are some games which cannot use additional threads. Moreover, they simply do not like hyperthreading, as it makes them work slower, less efficient. Each year there are less and less games which are not able to use additional threads, but there are still plenty of them. So, if you have an old CPU which cannot provide sufficient frame rate in a game which can use, say, only 4 cores and threads, while 4 additional threads doesn't provide any boost and even lower frame rate, what should you do? Well, you can of course go to BIOS and disable hyperthreading. This is not hard. Then you can play a game which doesn't like hyperthreading and get high frame rate. Is it good? Yes, it is, but it's not the most convenient way. What if you will need hyperthreading again just one hour later? In this case, you should reboot your PC and turn hyperthreading on. But there is another way to turn off any threads you want. All you need to do is launch Task Manager, select the Details tab, find a process you need, click with the right mouse button on it and select Set Affinity option. Then you will see several CPUs, each of them reflects a single thread. If your CPU have hyperthreading or SMT feature, each odd-numbered CPU is the first thread of each core, while each even-numbered CPU is the second thread of each core. Thus, if you want to disable only additional threads, you need to turn off either all odd-numbered CPUs or all even-numbered CPUs and press OK button. This will let your CPU use half of threads for a particular process. If you want to know how to set permanent core affinity to a specific process, there are a few ways to do this, some of them are very easy to master. But this video is not about how to set permanent core affinity. I know some people are interested whether turning off additional threads can provide the same result as disabling hyperthreading. I will show you. I will use Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game as an example. This is one of a few games which really do not like hyperthreading. As you can see, disabling hyperthreading provides up to 20% difference in frame rate. But what about turning off the same for threads via Windows? Let's see. Well, as I can tell, there is no significant difference between these two ways of turning off four additional threads. There is no need in disabling hyperthreading via BIOS. Just launch a game and perform all the above described actions through the task manager. What do you think about hyperthreading? Is it worth turning off additional threads? Let me know about it in the comment section below. Hope this video was helpful. Check my previous video in which I showed how hyperthreading can affect the performance of video games. Good luck and till next time!